Hello, this is Shea Stack Countdown here in Wellington, New Zealand. Thank you very much for watching. The project the project I have this week is a project I've been really wanting to do for a long time. Is making a Damascus steel kanjar, Indian style kanjar dagger. Now the dagger is uh, for a Mr. Owen Mapp, who is a New Zealand bone carver and jade carver. He's he's also based in Wellington, and he carves some absolutely wonderful works. I had no teachers in the late 60s. In fact, there was no bone carving being done in New Zealand at that time. So everything I made, um, which was of course influenced by Maori uh, history and design concepts, um, I found I was able to sell. And uh, fairly quickly I was invited to exhibit in a, in a Wellington gallery. And uh, much to my amazement, um, my very rough work in those days uh, sold outright. And my mother was always encouraging uh, me in, in any interests whatsoever. And one of those interests was archaeology. So at the age of 14, I got onto a, an excavation at the Wairau Bar site in Marlborough, which was under the Canterbury Museum, Dr. Roger Duff. And uh, through archaeology, uh, that developed into the carving and my continuing life interest. Okay, so the way I'm going to make Owen's blade, multiple bars of steel already made up, and then they're going to be uh, drawn out into square bars with individual patterns in them, and then those bars are going to be horizontally fused together to form the blade. Now I've got these bullets here, one, two, and um, the idea is that gonna, there's going to be four individual bars, so these guys here will be forged out into long sort of square bars, whoops, like so. Now, there's going to be two bars of each. The first two bars are going to have a twisted pattern in them, so the steel will be doing this. <coughs> and then the other two bars are going to be a bit more simple, and they're going to have a straight grained profile. So the layers will be going this way on the end grain. Once I've got those uh, pieces of steel made up, I'm going to snap them all together. Um, I'm just going to draw it for you. Sort of, kind of like that, sort of just a sort of a stack, a gridded stack. Now the two twisted pieces of Damascus steel are going to go in the center of the billet. One will be clockwise, a clockwise twist, and the other piece will actually have to be counterclockwise twist in order to achieve um, this directional arrow sort of pattern. Now that will be twisted the other way. Because if it was twisted the same way, I'd just get that same effect the entire way down. I want that to be a little bit different. And when I go to grind the profile, there's going to be a lot of hollow grinding involved. But I'll get into that later once I've made it. But you've got a sort of an end grain view of the billet. This, this, this. When I go to grind the blade, I'm going to be hollow grinding in this section of it and then I'm going to be grinding the bevels again this is an exaggerated view but just for you guys grinding the bevels what this will do is it will bite into those layers to bring all of these layers to the to the bevel surface it'll get rid of these hard corners and uh, I won't have to do much patterning after that point really the uh, grinding will determine what the patterns end result is going to be these twists are going to look pretty groovy as well because as you grind further into the twist, the more the twist forms these wonderful, so they have this little um, cross that gets formed inside of them. Um, and, and the further you grind into the uh, twisted billet, the uh, more pronounced that that pattern will become. To form a point, I'm going to want to take cut to cut a 45 degree angle out of all four bars. To get rid of that. So I'll rub that out 
And then I'm, what I'm going to then do is heat the billet up and close that joint up to form a point on the blade. That will give me an appearance of a blade, sort of. Uh, what am I doing? One. That was really bad. Uh, let's go down the middle. And then this will be the outer end of the blade. These two will represent the outer layers. And then the middle layers, those twists will hopefully sort of just sit next to each other like that. And then the other layers will kind of join. So that's the plan. And then once I've produced that, the dagger will look sort of... One more in the center there. So that'll be my blade, uh, composite blade made up. Twist down the center of the blade, and then just layered standard Damascus steel on the outside of the blade. So uh, that's the plan. We'll get on to making the light forge and uh, get into it. We have all four pieces all forged out. The next step is to prep the steels and clean them up. We need to make sure that the gaps between the, the every bar is nice and close so that it, it uh, in turn gives us a really good weld. Once we've got that in place, all the prep work's done, I will tack weld all of these bars together so that they're one piece so that it doesn't fall apart while we are forge welding it. And then we'll hammer the guy out and we'll see.
And if you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you definitely do it. Smash that like button with a massive hammer. <laughs>